Hey guys, I've got a giant, giant haul for you today. I placed an order at Beautylish during the gift card event, which is actually still going on. Today is the last day. They got this order to me so quickly. I ordered right when the gift card event opened up on Thursday and this got to me yesterday. So it took two days, but I mean, so much faster than I thought. Anyway, we're gonna be opening this up together. I'm so, so excited. I, you guys know how much I love this event. I gave you some recommendations. I gave you a lot of recommendations. <laughs> I just love the brands that Beautylish carries. So anyway, let's see what I ordered. Woo! Oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna be in no particular order because <laughs> we're just gonna grab stuff from the box. So let me put this down. I'm gonna start with this. Okay, it's beauty related, but it is not makeup or skincare or hair care. This is from Moon Juice. This is their Cosmic Cocoa. This is adaptogenic hot chocolate, collagen protect, sex dust and spirit dust. It's an herbal supplement. So it's meant to help boost mood and libido. That's very interesting to me. The boosting mood was what I was focused on, but hey, boosting libido, why not? It has tocos, silver ear mushroom and edible hyaluronic acid adaptogens like ashwagandha, shatavari and rishi target the effects of stress. Yeah, I was just really intrigued by this. Instant alchemy, two tablespoons of cosmic cocoa, eight ounces of hot water or warm milk, blend on high, sip in bliss. Let me check out the calorie count here. So I think for two tablespoons, there are, whoa, 65 calories. So not horrible. Three grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, two grams of fat. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna open this up. I've just been curious about all of these Moon Juice products. I have to say, I'm definitely influenced by the names of their things because it always sounds so cool. Well, it smells just like hot cocoa. Well, I'll have to report back to you. I'm sure you guys will see me <laughs> try one of these in a vlog, an upcoming vlog, but that's the Cosmic Cocoa from Moon Juice. Okay, what do we have? Ah. The Sicily Pure Bright Activating Serum. This is a re-up for me. I have gone through, I think, three bottles of this. This is one of my all-time favorite serums. I instantly see a difference, especially with my larger pores right here on either side of my nose. They are instantly diminished. My skin just looks so much smoother in all of this area that I tend to get a little bit of texture, especially like down here. I have a little bit of texture and then I have the larger pores. It's so good. Oh, and up here as well, like between my brows, I feel like I have some texture. This is so, so good for that. I am so glad to have this again. I've been waiting <laughs> for this event to purchase this. So the Pure Bright Activating Serum, I'm just gonna open it up and just show you what the bottle looks like. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know exactly what serum I'm talking about. I started using this years ago, I wanna say maybe three years ago, this guy. Oh my God, so good. You know, I'm gonna put it back in the box because I'm just gonna start using it. And then I thought, this I've never tried. I thought I would give this a shot. This is from Sisley as well. This is their Fito Blanc Overnight Brightening Cream. I do like, obviously, I do like their Fito Blanc line. I have one of their cleansers. I have the Fito Blanc. I think it's um, like a daytime moisturizer. I actually have that on today. It's very nice. But I thought I would try this brightening overnight cream. Ooh, that looks thick. Really, really thick. Now, all of the Sicily products have a lavender scent to them, which means I believe they have lavender oil in all of their products. I just want to mention that because I know it's irritating to some people. It doesn't actually irritate my sensitive skin funny enough. I just don't personally like the smell of lavender, but it doesn't bother me in any other way. And it's not like, it's not like I can't take it. But anyway, I thought I would mention that. So I'm excited to try this, the Overnight Brightening Cream. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited. What do we have here? Oh, the Velvet Nourishing Body Cream. This is a re-up for me. I just finished this tube of body cream and I love, love, love the Velvet line from Sisley. You guys have talk, uh, heard me talk about the Velvet Sleeping Mask. I actually recommended it in my recommendations video, along with the Velvet Cream. Oh my God. 
The velvet line has saffron flowers in it and it just smells so, so good. So I'm really excited to have this back. I kind of tried to focus on things that I would want to play around with for the spring summer. I think I mentioned this in my recommendations as well. And it's just, yeah, once the spring summer hits, even though I probably need it more in the winter time, but like body scrubs, body lotions, things like that, I tend to just focus on that more, probably because I'm showing more skin. But anyway, I really wanted to re-up on my favorite body cream. Like quite literally, Really just finished the tube of that. So, so excited to have that. And then let's see, I want you to try these buff and wash facial gels. I am not exactly sure what the difference is. So I thought I would just give it a shot. Let's start with this one. This is the buff and wash facial gel with botanical extracts. This is part of the Fito Blanc line. And this I don't believe is. So I don't know if one is just more updated. Let's see. I'm opening up the Fito Blanc one. This is what it looks like. So it cleanses, it gently exfoliates, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the combined action of lemon, scutellaria, and white mulberry extracts with brightening properties help make the complexion clear and even. Okay, can be used three to four times. All right. So this is not just a face cleanser with like little exfoliating bits. I believe this is like an exfoliator. So three to four times a week. Okay, now this one, the Buff and Wash Facial Gel, not part of the Fito Blanc line. Again, I'm not sure if it's just maybe a, an older and updated one. Well, this one looks a little bit different. It's darker in color. Yeah, this one is three to four times a week as well. Natural plant extracts. It does have essential oils in there. Gently cleanses, exfoliates. I'm gonna guess that the ingredients are maybe a little bit different. Yeah, I'm gonna try both out and report back to you because I have very, very dry, kind of sensitive skin, definitely less sensitive as I get older, but I have very dry skin. And so I just wanna see which one works better. But anyway, I will report back, but I did get both of them because I did wanna do a little comparison. And then, oh, this is a re-up as well. So this is the Fito Blanc Brightening Cleansing Foam in Cream. So again, part of the Fito Blanc line. This is just a great cleanser. I think it's good for all skin types. Again, I have dry skin. It's great for my dry skin and I love it. I tended to use this in the mornings because I left it in my shower. And I remember loving using this after the gym when my face was feeling like especially kind of, I don't know, grimy with sweat or whatever. This was really, really good. I never use this like at night to cleanse my face. Cause I usually do like a makeup remover and like a cleansing balm. That would be my cleansing routine, but maybe I'll try using this at night. But yeah, I loved leaving this in the shower. It was great for that. So anyway, that's the Fito Blanc Brightening Cleansing Foam and Cream. So excited to have this back in my life as well. All right, just a couple other things from Sisley. This is the Sisley Hair Ritual. This is their hair care line. Um, I re-upped on the La Creme 230. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of this, but this is what I put into my damp hair after I wash it before I use any heat styling products on it, blow dry, anything like that is, is a great heat protectant. Restorative and thermoprotective action, hair and scalp care. So it does say apply it to damp or dry hair. I like putting it on damp hair. I've tried putting it on dry hair and I feel like it, not that it weighs my hair down. Maybe I used a little bit too much, but I would be careful. You know, with damp hair, you're mixing it in with the water, you know, the, the water that's still on your hair. In my opinion, a lot easier to use that way. And then use it with heat styling tools. It says it can be applied as a leave-in conditioner. I always condition my hair in the shower, so maybe that was the problem. It was just like a little over-conditioned. But anyway, that's how I use it on damp hair. And it is wonderful. It leaves my hair feeling really, really soft. I do really feel like it is completely protected by the heat. I don't feel like my hair looks especially frizzy or anything after I use this. It's just wonderful. I love it. And it's the best texture. It's like a very light lotiony texture. So it's like easy to run through your hair and everything. It's not too thick. It's not too thin where I feel like it's running all over my hands. It's amazing. So re-upped on that. I am pretty close to the bottom of my current bottle. So I'm happy to have another one. And then the last thing I got from Sisley is I think this is a relatively new shade. This is their Fito Rouge Shine Lipstick in the shade number 13, which is Beverly Hills. And right now, actually, I'm wearing either shade 10 or 11. I'll have it down below in the description box. But this is 
like the sheer nude. So this sheer Beverly Hills look like a sheer nude. So I was just really curious what this shade was like. If it was a little bit, oh, it's like a light peach. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my God, this formula is so good. It's so moisturizing, almost like a gloss and balm. It's really, really comfortable on the lips. This, oh, it's so, so good. It's very, very similar. I would say this is like tied to the Chantecaille lip cheeks and their lip veils. It has that kind of like lip mask feeling to them. Oh my God, so good. So anyway, that is Sheer Beverly Hills. Ooh, this will be so nice for the spring summertime, this peachy color. Mm, so pretty. So the sheer nude that I have on is definitely cooler, more neutral in tone than this guy. That was all the Sicily stuff that I got. I really, really stock up on Sicily because I like taking advantage of this gift card event. The next thing I got is from Suzanne Kaufman and I picked up her body butter. Like I was saying in regards to body products, I really do amp up my body moisturization in the spring, summertime. And I really love the Suzanne Kaufman body products. Oh, I don't want to open this up just yet, but oh, this one just has such a nice, really light, fresh, fruity fragrance, and I love it, especially in the spring, summertime. It's just, it's so nice to use, and the texture of this body butter is so like thick and silky and creamy. Here, let me show you. I don't know if you can tell just by looking, but it is like, ooh, it is silk in a body cream. It is so, incredible and they actually just changed up their logo so they used to have like a white paper label with suzanne kaufman in much smaller writing and now they just have it printed right on the glass tub here it's much larger print interesting larger and bolder print well i'm excited to have that for the summertime and then let's see i got a couple of things from mahalo skincare I've never used anything from Mahalo, and I was turned on to them by Tara Babies. I think she maybe used their products like way back in the day. I'm not sure if she continues to use them, but she did speak highly of them. So I thought I would try their Cleanser Melt Concentrate. This is like a cleansing balm, and I was just saying this is the second cleanse, and cleansing balms are like my favorite second cleanse at the end of the day. So, oh, look at this packaging. It's like in a wood tub. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's like solid right now, but that's a beautiful color. Ooh, that smells great. It smells really like fresh and herby. So it helps to cleanse skin, lift pollution and dirt and impurities, remove sunscreen and makeup, clear imbalanced oil and sebum, gently exfoliate with natural fruit enzymes, tone and reset skin natural healing ability. Oh, I love it. I cannot wait. God, it smells so good. It smells, it's so funny. It smells like herbaceous and juicy all at the same time. Mmm, incredible. Okay, cannot wait to try that. Look at this box it came in. Isn't that so pretty? It's like this hexagon box, so pretty. The other thing I picked up from Mahalo is the petal. It's an enzyme floral mask to calm and nourish. Anytime I see a mask that's meant to calm, I'm immediately intrigued because my skin tends to get reactive and angry. Let's see, it says the petal mask helps to calm, hydrate, and tone for an improved smooth texture, manage problem-prone skin by clearing bacteria that cause acne and inflammations, gently exfoliate dead skin, and stimulate cellular <laughs> renewal. This luxuriously gentle honey and rose treatment mask. Let's see what this looks like. It has a... A, like aluminum foil protective cover here. Ooh, wow. It smells like honey, it smells like rose, and it smells like like the a little bit of a fruit in there as well. But look at that color. Oh, I love it. Cannot wait to use that. Hydrating mask and plump glow. I wonder how often I should use this. Maybe once a week, I'm thinking. For a soft skin. Oh, it says a decadent daily ritual for a skin soft as petal. Oh, wow must be very gentle okay all right can't wait to try that out and then I got a couple more makeup products now this is kind of a re-up this is the Kogendo moisture foundation one of my all-time favorite foundations 
but the shades that I've been using, I think are a little bit too deep for my skin tone now. So I've been using, well, I started out using one, two, three, that's much too deep for me. And then I downshifted to one, one, three, which was great, but I think I'm just, you know, I'm just getting paler and paler. I'm taking better care of my skin, kind of staying out of the sun more. So I decided to try zero, zero, one. <laughs> I don't know if I overshot, but let's see. So here's the moisture foundation tube. Let me shake this off. This does look a little light, but I could mix it in with my 113 or 123. Oh, this foundation, it just feels like cream. It feels like a night cream. You don't, yeah, I think that's, that's a little pale because my hand is paler than my face and it's pale in my hand. Okay. Well, that's okay. I can mix it with my other shades. So that's the Kogan Do Moisture Foundation. That was 001. Okay, and then I ordered some brushes. Not that I need any, but these looked very, very interesting to me. So I got the Koyudo. Let me try and find the proper name here. I'm not sure, sorry, all the writing is in Japanese or it's too small. I will link to exactly what it is that I purchased down below in my description box. But look at this flat shader brush and this gorgeous handle. I believe this is natural goat hair. This would be dyed. And I'm just, I love a flat shader that's a little bit, a little bit beefy. You can see this one has a little bit of thickness to it. It's just great for one and done shadows. You know, so I picked up that one. God, I love this handle. It feels so smooth. And then I also picked up one, I believe from the same line from Koyudo, but this is, yeah, a face brush. Look at this cheek brush. Isn't that sumptuous? So soft, this handle is so nice. It's not too long. It's great for travel. I love that. Here, let me hold it up next to the eye brush. That's so gorgeous. I will link to exactly what these brushes are because I can't find the name on the box, but these are beautiful. Oh, so soft. Ooh, love those. And then I also wanted to try out some Ray Morris brushes. So I believe Ray Morris is an Australian makeup artist. I hope I'm remembering that correctly. And she um, has like a gorgeous, gorgeous set of brushes. And I've always been tempted and I just, you know, one of those things that was like in my cart, out of my cart, in my cart, out of my cart. Finally, I was like, Michelle, just give it a shot because she had this really interesting brush. This is brush number 66. It's kind of triangle shaped. See that? But it's, it's small. So we've got a flat front here and then like a half moon shape over here. In fact, the Farah Hamidi brush that they just sent me is actually similar to this. The bristles at the pointy end here aren't quite as long. See how this one kind of goes back? It almost makes it a little bit softer. The Farah Hamidi is a little bit denser up here. It's a little bit flatter. Oh, but that's cool. So that's the 66. And then the other brush that I got is like another big, flat, chunky shader, but like oversized. Oh, this looks really cool. So this is brush number 10. Look at this guy. Let me hold it up next to this Koyuto one. So the bristles are longer. The brush is wider. It's just a really giant eyeshadow brush. Or I would imagine some people would like to use it as a highlighter brush, maybe down like your nose or whatever. Oh, but I just, I love these uh, small face or oversized eye brushes. I think they're the most versatile. Or like concealer. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to try out Ray Morris brushes finally. Okay, and last but not least, you guys know I am becoming a little bit of a connoisseur. No, I, I'm just trying out a lot of eye masks because I use them when I meditate. I'm starting to wear them more when I'm actually just going to sleep at night, which is I think when most people would use them um, because my husband likes to watch TV in bed and I go to sleep much earlier than he does. And he's already kind enough to watch television on mute for me. So um, I've 
you know, I've suggested getting headphones, Bluetooth, connecting them. He's like, no, he's fine. He just watches like with the closed captioning and he actually prefers it, I think. Anyway, um, so I've been wearing an eye mask to sleep more and more often because, you know, the TV light or whatever. Anyway, I have silk eye masks and then I have an eye mask with like a bumper around it and I wanted a combination of that. So I ordered this slip the Mayfair Beauty set. Now Mayfair, I think, is just the pattern of it, but basically I got a slip silk contour sleep mask and then some scrunchies. So the scrunchies I can always use, not a problem, but it was the contour sleep mask that I was most interested in. So it's got the bumpers around there, so it really blocks out light. So I have, I don't even think it's cotton, just a plain old kind of synthetic fabric, black one that I got like off of Amazon. And like I said, I do have silk sleep masks, but they're not contour. They don't have those bumpers. So I was like, I kind of want the combination. So I'm really excited to try this out. So here's the front of the sleep mask and here is the contour. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. So the other one I've been using, it leaves a mark on my face because I meditate for like an hour. The meditation I do is like over an hour. It's like an hour and 10 minutes. So it's long enough to like leave a mark on my face. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just not a great fabric. Anyway, oh, this is going to be so welcome. This is so, so soft and so cushy. Oh, this is so great. So, so great. I'm so happy I splurged on this. I was like, do I need one? I have so many. I'm so glad. Maybe I'll use this later today. Oh, and one more thing. I forgot to mention this. This is actually a makeup product. I haven't gotten anything from Kevin O'Quan in a long, long time. So I thought I would give them a shot and I decided to go for the Contour Eyeshadow Palette in light. Doesn't that look pretty? Just great for every day. All those things, let me do a quick swatch of the matte shade. Ooh, it feels nice. Ooh, there's a swatch of a matte and a swatch of a satin shade. Oh wow, those feel really, really smooth and soft. Ooh, I like those. And it looks like maybe they're refillable or maybe you can get a different one of the compacts and kind of like switch the shadows and stuff. Oh, that's nice. And these shadows were made in Italy. Okay. Ooh, these are really promising. I cannot wait to try these out. All right. Well, that is my giant haul from the Beautylish gift card event. So excited to have my gift cards to use throughout the year, which I do very regularly. But that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Of course, I'll have everything linked down below. Today is the last day to shop the gift card event. You get $20 for every $100 you spend. And if you're a big Beautylish, fan like I am, especially because of their shipping, their incredible shipping and the incredible brands that they carry. Those gift cards will come in really, really handy. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.